I am so excited that you are here to watch this message. I truly believe that you are not here by mistake, but by divine connection. It is my prayer that this word will not only inspire you, but will bring the change you desire in your life and the way to go forward. Be sensitive to the Holy Spirit and let this message minister to your heart today. I know your breakthrough awaits you on the other side. I love you. Jesus loves you more. And remember, Jesus is Lord. For the few minutes that we have, I'll be sharing on made to prosper. You and I are made to prosper. Praise the Lord. And if you should prosper, then of course, our streets must be safe. Praise the Lord. Many dreams are cut short because they were, they were killed by some innocent people, by some uh, criminals. Many dreams. Praise the Lord. Last year, we had to bury a 32-year-old boy and a 34-year-old boy. They were just standing by their cars. And according to the story, they were shot from an unknown gunman. These things are very important for us to know. You see, we are made to prosper. And this morning, I'll be reading from Daniel chapter, chapter 2. Take it from Daniel chapter 3. I'll be reading from verse 14. And I want us to read together. Praise the Lord. Let's give me the and that, that's fine. We'll take that version. Amen. You and I are made to prosper. And one of the things that we have to learn to do is to do the unpopular. We have never seen a state attorney taking this initiative. So it's the unpopular she's taking to accomplish the unforgettable. Praise the Lord. And that is what as Christians, as people of God, we must also come to that understanding that we have to learn to do the unpopular. Praise the Lord. Now let's read together. Now Bukadnezar spoke saying to them, Is it true, Shadrach, Meshach? Are you reading with me? Praise the Lord. I can't hear your voice. Is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego? That you do not serve my gods or worship the gold image which I have set up. Now, if you are ready at the time you hear the sound of the horn, the flute, harp, lyre, plaster in the symphon with all kinds of music and all, and you all down and worship the image which I have made. Good. But if you do not worship, you shall be cast immediately into the midst of a burning fiery furnace. And who is that your God who will deliver you from the hands, from my hands? The next verse he says, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we have no need to answer you in this matter. If that is the case, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace. And he will deliver us from your hand. We are sure. He said, but if not, let it be known to you, O king, that we do not serve your gods, nor will we worship the gold image which you have set up. In verse 19. Then Nebuchadnezzar was full of fury and, and the expression on his face changed towards Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. He spoke and commanded that they hit the furnace seven times more than it was usually heated. And he commanded certain mighty men of Velo who were in their army to bind Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego cast them into the burning furnace. These men were bound in their coats in their trousers, in their turbans, and in, in other garments, and were cast into the midst of the burning fairy furnace, furnace. Therefore, because the king commanded, command was urgent, the furnace exceedingly hot, the flame of the fire killed those who took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. In verse 22, he said, 
And these three men, Meshach, Cedric, and I, fell down, bound in the midst of burning fiery furnace. And in verse 24, then the king was astonished. And he rose in, his, in haste and spoke, saying to his counselors, Did we not cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? They answered, Yes, sir. And then what is it? He said, Look, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire and they are not hurt and the form of the fault is like the son of God let's bless the word of the Lord many of you know this story but this morning I'm taking you into another dimension of it beloved I want to tell somebody that you are made to prosper you didn't say amen to that I say you are made to what prosper and you will prosper you will prosper those who believe it can shout a louder amen I'm not giving you a motivational word I'm telling you from the throne room of God he made you to prosper how do I know that Psalm 75 reading from verse 5 to 7 Psalm 75 you are made your creator made you to prosper he said do not lift up your horn on high do not speak with a stiff neck in verse 6 he said for exaltation comes from the lord in another version he said promotion comes from the it does not come from the east nor from the west but promotion comes from god he is the one who puts one down and he's the one who puts one up can I hear amen? Daniel chapter 2 verse 21 he said he changes the times and seasons. God knows the times and seasons. He changes the times and the seasons. He removes kings and he raises up kings. Am I speaking to somebody? I say you are made to prosper. Here is the story of these three young men. King Nebuchadnezzar has raised up all manner of images so that everybody would bow down to him. And these three young men shows up and they tell him that no, they tell the counselors that we are not going to do that. After they have played all the songs, after they have erected the image of Nebuchadnezzar for everybody to bow down, here comes three boys standing in the midst of the multitude praise the lord everybody has bowed down but these three boys were standing tall and he baffled them because there are some things you cannot do in the midst of people whether you like it or not sometimes you have to go along with the flow but you see when it comes to god he is looking for people who will take a stand and say as for me and my house we will serve the Lord. So what everybody was bowing down to, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego said, we will never bow. Doing what? The unpopular. I found out from Frederick Douglass, he said, one with God is indeed more than a majority. One with God is indeed more than a majority that everybody is bowing to an idol does not mean you should also bow you didn't say amen to that have you forgotten that God is the one who make his angels spirit and his ministers with flaming fire so the Bible makes me to understand that these boys they were filled with the spirit of God so what they were standing there doing they were not just doing it in their carnal mind they were doing it because they were filled with the spirit of God am I speaking to somebody there are certain things you cannot do until there is something working through you thank you Jesus Psalm 104 verse 4 the Bible is speaking have you not read that he has made his angel spirit and his ministers flames of fire so Nebuchadnezzar comes to them and he said listen you boys I have heard praise the Lord from verse 14 he asked them I have heard but I want to ask you is it true 
Praise the Lord. That's my question for somebody this morning. Is it true that you are in love with Jesus? Is it true? He was asking them, is it true that you said you are a Christian? Is it true that you have set yourself in such a way that no man will see your nakedness before he takes you to the altar? Is it true that you honor your wife and not destroy your home? Is it true? Have you made up that declaration into yourself? Is it true? He asked these three boys and he said, guys, I have heard but I want to ask you. Some people have heard some things about you. But it is for you to prove it to them. Praise the Lord. And he asked them, he said, is it true that you people said you will not bow down to my image? He said, well, I will assume that I have not heard it. I'm going to play the music again. And this time around, when I play the music, let me see if you will not buy. And let's see the God whom you call God. If he will be able to save you. Praise the Lord. And the three boys said, Nabu, we are not careful. Don't even waste your time to play the music. Because whether you play the music or you don't play the music, we have made an own popular decision and we know where this decision is taking us to he said we will not bow down hear this we will not bow down do you know something sometimes when you are in challenge you think that God has forgotten about you let me let me share something with you our God is an unintentional God when God is doing something then he's doing something. He's doing something because he's doing something intentionally. And when God, because he's intentional, when he's not doing anything, he is still doing something unintentionally. So sometimes you are in a situation where you think that everybody has left you and even God is not there that you are left alone you think your back is against the wall and you can't hear anything from God here is these three boys they have been they are about to be thrown into fire but they sat down and they knew that this unintentional God who is not talking who is not showing anything but allowing them to be bound and be thrown in fire is up to something do you know something? Sometimes your challenges is God who has allowed it because God is always up to something. What makes him God is that you don't have to understand him because his ways are not your ways. Neither his thoughts are your thoughts. What you think will destroy you is what is about to promote you. Oh, am I preaching to somebody this morning? An unintentional God intentionally sat as if he was not doing anything. Quietly did not speak one word. And Nebuchadnezzar gets angry. Do you know why? God knew that the whole city, nobody believed in him. Except four people. Daniel, Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. So God wanted to prove something. But Nebuchadnezzar did not know that what he was going through was God orchestrated. So he gets angry. He gets angry. God can make some people angry to take you to where you will never be hungry. <laughs> oh my goodness he will push people they can fire you from a job that you are struggling to keep to a place where he will open a door where eternally you will never be a beggar so he gets angry he said in fact heat the fire 
hit the fire. And I've told you about fire. You see, for three boys to be able to stand before a king, there must be something working in them. <laughs> there is something about fire. Fire does not announce itself. You can ignore its presence, but you cannot ignore its heat. You can choose to ignore that this is fire, but you cannot ignore the heat. Look, there could be cockroaches, which they are not in this church. Praise the Lord. But we will never find them because they know what time we come in. And they will hide. There will be mouse. There could be mouse here, which they are not. I'm just using as an example. And they know what time we come here. You see? So they will hide. But when there is fire. Am I preaching to somebody this morning? When there is fire, they cannot ignore the heat of the fire. And they will come out from their hiding places. There are some people here whom God has imputed fire in them. And they are just sitting down. I came to ignite that fire in you. Because it is that fire in you that will make you to do the unpopular. It does not take cold feet. It does not take warm people to declare certain things. It takes the fire of God. Somebody say fire. It is a fire. How do I know that? Because they were able to stand before a king that people could not even stand. When fire is in you, no matter who is standing around you, it makes you to express yourself without fear. Am I speaking to somebody? Tell somebody I need more fire. You see, you have to be fired up in your spirit. They may, they may try to talk down on your fire. They may try to explain your fire, but they cannot deny the power thereof. And there are some kind of fire, you see. What I'm talking, somebody say, when fire comes, you take water to quench them. No, in First Kings chapter 18, verse 30, 38, you see, there are some kind of fire that when they are on the move, they consume water. Hi, hi, hi. Somebody is not getting what I'm saying. He said, that then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the burnt sacrifice and the wood and the shoe and the stones and the dust and licked up and licked up and licked up water. Fire licking up water. That is the fire that we serve. Our God, the Bible says, is a consuming fire. I came to tell somebody this morning that whosoever has decided to punish you, the fire of God will take them out. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let me talk about fire. I want to talk about fire. You ever been in a kitchen and you have a kettle? Praise the Lord. And the kettle is put on fire. The water is cold. But as the water maintains its temperature, the water begins to what? Move. Because of the heat that is coming through the fire. The water begins. You see? And then you have put a lid on the kettle. And before you know, the fire will be burning. The fire will be burning and the water that was cold now begin to what heat it heats to a certain level then it, 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 before you know the, the the lid of the water of the kettle because of the heat from the from the fire the, the water becomes fire and makes the lid to pop off you see there are some people who have put a level on you they said this is how far you can go they have said that you can never go past your father you can never go past somebody but this morning i came to tell you that they lied they lied you are about to explode oh you are about to explode i say you are about 
to explode. Don't be lukewarm. The Bible says, Woe to them that are, are weak in Zion. Woe to them who are at ease in Zion. Don't be cold because there is fire in you. Now, how do I know? The Bible says, when the spirit of the Lord came upon him, it is that fire that came upon Jesus. The Bible says how God anointed Jesus Christ with the Holy Ghost and with fire who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. I vow to God, whosoever has put a lid on you, whosoever has put a limitation on you, today you will pass out you will come out that's how some of you are afraid you can't even pass your exam because you did not ignite the fire you have forgotten that you carry fire praise the lord you can't even show up yourself in a common exam room when the doctors tell you that you have this sickness you can't even say no my god is able to do exceeding abundantly above When we walk with the Lord in the light of His Word, what a glory we share on our way. When we do His good will, He abides with us all. What a glory. mistake every Christian will make is to live and not ignite the fire people are always talking down our Christ people are always talking down our God but what will make them to know is when they see fire oh they will come and see you on fire but you are not burned So these three boys were before him and he says sir we are not afraid of you <laughs> and I was wondering I said hey, can you imagine I'm standing in front of the state attorney and I'm telling her she's telling me that I should put on my marks and I said I won't put up I won't do it can you imagine the kind of disrespect I'm bringing to her office. To picture, picture it. Just picture the, what these boys were in. And I know many of us, we have come to such a place like that. Where you have to choose between God and the world. That's all about Christianity. You choose Christ or you choose the world. It's a choice. And these boys were standing in front of him. But they knew that this God is an unintentional God. He's an, you see, he, say, he's, he does things the way he likes. So they told him. He said, sir, we will not do it. But one thing we know is that our God, he said, our God will come through. And we know he will come through. That's what he said. If that is the case, our God whom we serve is able. Is able. How many of us believe that God is able? God 
is able to do just what he says he will Elijah. He followed him. When he was following Elijah, people were telling him, don't go. He's leaving. Don't follow him. You see, the very people that are there to help you to grow, to elevate you, are the very people that will drain you to lose your destiny. The good people you call, that you put around you, the circle you put around you, they are the very people who come to drain you all you have to do is to remain focused are you are you hearing in in second kings chapter 2 in verse verse 9 thereof he said and he followed him and he asked him that i need something from you and it was so when they had crossed over to uh, that elijah and he said to elijah he said ask me what you want he said i want a double portion of your fire he didn't ask a double portion of your mantle it was not mantle he asked for. He, I want the double portion of your spirit. The spirit is the fire of God. He did not ask for mantle because he has already received it. When they were coming, he saw him use the mantle. May you be able to ask. See, 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 see when God released a blessing upon you. There are times I'm preaching and by declaration, some spirits are released upon people. But when you are not in the spirit, you are not able to catch what God is trying to impact upon you. May you receive the spirit of God. Now, when you are on fire, when you are coming, witches will see you and they will pave way for you. When you are on fire, who can stop fire? said, I want a double portion of your spirit. He was not asking for material things. So when you come to church and you are looking for material things, you have missed it. Position, titles, it goes nowhere. Those whom I met fighting over title, I have overtaken them long. I have gone, gone. Praise the Lord. Yesterday, some of them were seeking for me. They said, bro, ah, we love this, your God. Oh. No, they should have said, we love this fire in you. 
Look at verse 11 of this scripture for the sake of time. I'm, I'm going to make sure we finish on time. Then it happened as they continued on and talked that suddenly chariots of fire, watch it, chariots of what? Appeared and did what? Separated the two of them and Elijah went up by a wild wind into heaven so it was not fire that took Elijah to heaven it was what wild wind so the question is where did the uh, chariots of fire go hello all the time when we preach including myself we say and Elijah went up with chariots of fire no he separated do you see that I'm showing you something. Don't say it anywhere. People will laugh at you. Elijah went up with what? Wild wing. So then, the question is, where did the chariot of fire go? Second Kings. We read from chapter 5. Praise the Lord. Chapter 6, 17. Watch it. A time came where Gehazi was with Elisha and they have done all manner of miracles. Axe head came from water and so they were there. Gehazi came out and what did he see? He saw an army coming to attack them and he cried and said, Master, today we are in big trouble and Elijah was sitting down and he said, you don't even know what is with us. Praise the Lord. He said, and Elisha prayed and said, Lord, open his eyes. May God open your eye. And the Lord opened the eyes of the young man and he saw and behold, the mountains was full of horses and what? And what? And what? And what? So the fire in Elijah was the fire that came upon Elisha. He did not take the fire up. But I'm coming to tell you, this was in their days. But we have a better covenant that at salvation, the fire that comes in you can never go off. The fire is still burning. The fire is still burning. I said the fire is still burning. Chariots. So where Elijah stopped, that is where Elisha started. Oh, the last miracle of Elijah was when he parted the water. The first miracle of Elisha, he also parted the water. Where your fathers did not get to, where your mothers did not get to, that is where you are about to go. Do you know why? Because you are made to prosper. I say you are made to prosper. You will prosper. I say you will prosper. Thank you, Jesus. The days of pray for me is over. The days of pray for me is over. I have a better covenant. So, can you imagine you put fire into fire? <laughs> so they carried them. Little did they know that what they were carrying was fire itself. Oh, let's go back to the scripture. He said, so the mighty men, eh, they carried fire. They didn't know. It was not the fire that was burning that killed them. It was the fire they were holding. <laughs> ah! You don't get what I'm saying. You can't hold fire in your hand and it will not burn you. Oh God. Let's go back to the scripture. In, 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 in uh, well, Daniel chapter 3 verse 20. 
there thank you he commanded certain mighty men of Bela who were in the army to bind Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego to cast them into the burning fairies and in verse 21 these men were bound in their courts and were cast into the midst of the burning fires and then in verse 22 he said therefore because the king's commandment was urgent the furnace exceedingly was exceedingly hot and the flames of fire killed those men who took <laughs> they took who fire so i have found in scriptures proverbs chapter 6 verse 28 he said can you carry fire in your bosom and it will not burn you so when they carried fire all that happened was that it has to burn them burn them the fire came down the fire came down and destroyed them can one walk on hot coals and his feet not seared in verse 21 verse 29 verse 29 the next verse the next verse please he said can one carry fire in his bosom oh studio put me there verse the next verse he said so you see who goes in the name no 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 let's go to verse 27 26 27 26 20, yes give me 27 yes 27 can a man take fire in his bosom and his clothes not burn they forgot that what they were carrying, those three boys were fire. Fire burning in my soul. Fancy goes of fire. Eh. Fancy goes of fire. Eh. I say you are fire some of you don't even know what you carry inside fire I told you one day I was praying I was in a deep prayer and I saw fire in my bosom a candle lit on a plate burning in my soul that is when I knew that my fire has been ignited and there is a kind of fire when water pours on it it will lick the water it cannot be consumed that is the kind of fire that God has put in us for our God is a consuming fire this morning I call that fire to consume satanic influences around your life in the name of Jesus so I ask myself why was God doing all this as I close why is God making these three boys go through this? The Bible says when they came out, because they were fire, they entered fire. Fire knew them. So their clothes were not burned. Their skin were not burned. They were intact. Intact. And in, 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 in verse... 28, when he saw, he said, Now look at this that spoke and saying, Blessed be the God of Mesha, Abednego, and Shadrach, who has sent his angels and delivered his servant who trusted in him. You remember I just quoted to you Hebrews chapter 1 verse 7 he said has he not his made his angels spirits and his ministers flames of fire oh you don't get what I'm saying this morning you think that situation will kill you mm -mm. he's making a way how he will do it is what makes him a God all you have to do is to do what? Trust him. If you want to do the unpopular, that every woman can sleep anywhere, but you vow to yourself that I will not sleep anywhere. If you can do what people will tell you, you are too crefe, you are too Christian-like, which is this kind of Christ. God said, you watch me because every time i see such a person i do my own thing through them 
That's what the Bible says. The eyes of the Lord is going through and fro to looking for whose heart is what perfect towards him. God is watching us in this service. Who has decided that from today I will not be lying about people? God is watching us in this service. Who have decided from today I will not do evil? He, see, he knows your heart. You see, I can smile with you. You can only see my teeth, but you will never know my heart. The Bible says the heart of man is continually evil. The heart of man is continually evil. My smile does not mean I cannot be wicked. If only you can trust your God. If only you can stand with God. Yes, you don't have a job. They are throwing you out. But watch it. God can be quiet. Does not mean he's not doing anything. Even in his quietness is when he's doing the greatest performance of life. He brought them out. And when they came out, look at the reason. The last chapter of the verse. <laughs> I have read from the Bible that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it. And when they run into it, what happens to them? But the last chapter, let, let's re read in the King James Version. Give me the King James Version, please. The King James Version. This is the last chapter of the whole story. All what God wanted to do was to promote Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego. Do you know something? All the challenges you are going through, at the end of it, there is a promotion. But there will be no promotion without a test. It is when you pass the test that's when you are promoted. The king who wanted to kill them is the one who now did what? Promoted them. The enemies who want to kill you will be those who will be announcing you. God is about to promote somebody. Listen to me. It is not your job that will promote you. Hey, that's why I said from the beginning you see promotion does not come from the east nor from the west but promotion comes from the Lord he's the one who puts one up and he's the one who puts one down some people were angry when, when, when Trump came up you see it is God who set up kings and he removed kings so when God set you as a king and you don't behave like a king he will remove you and put another one because he's the one who makes the decision. God is about to bless somebody here. God is about to prosper somebody. But it takes you to do the unpopular. It takes you to do the unpopular. And by the time you stand in your unpopularity, God will now launch you to accomplish the unforgettable. Rise up to your feet this morning. Thank you, Jesus. When Elijah was talking to Elisha, he said, Be focused. Be focused. Be focused. Be focused. Because if you are not focused, you will use your energy on people who drain you. Be focused. You, you see, your marriage, in your marriage, all your focus is, in, is, is on your mother-in-law. She, she is there to drain you. Be focused. Because the enemy will plant people around you to make sure you don't get to where God has set for you. Be focused. We are going to stand with our state attorney to focus on our what? Our future. Our streets. 
is focus. People are dying free of charge. That something can be done about it. Are you getting what I'm saying? Something can be done about it. But there are people who will oppose this cause. They will fight her. They will make sure it does not come. All we are saying is, Madam, be focused. Be focused. Because when God is behind you, forget about how many people are against you. One with God is more than a majority. And when God opens a door, no man, you don't know the trouble you are going through, God is about to promote you. Stop, stop looking. He said, be focused. He told Elijah, he said, I need a double portion of your spirit. He said, if that is what you need, then focus. Focus. And guess what? The chariots of fire were left for him. You are too worried of what your pastor is doing. It is good. But that it should not be your focus. Be on fire. Even if, when you are on fire, your pastor will come and watch you burn. <laughs> are you getting what I'm saying? Be focused. You are married. Be focused on your husband. You are married. Be focused on your wife. Stop looking elsewhere. I'm tired of marriages going through all manner of trouble in church. We have the most great number of single women in the church. Where God, this is the place where God initiated marriage. Because men and women, we are not focused. Let's be focused on our children. Christian children are the ones who are going wayward. I told you, my daughter cannot go wayward. No matter what she likes. She can choose anything. But she cannot go wayward. Not when I'm alive. She knows it. One of us must give up. Maybe she will be the one to give up. Be focused on your children. Know where they go. Know the friends they talk to. It's a children of America. Who told you there's a God of America? It's a God of the whole world. The same principles anywhere. And I've told you, God is not partial. God is not what? Acts chapter 10 verse 34. Our God is not partial. He doesn't know black. He doesn't know red. He doesn't know green. All he knows is the righteous person. Of a truth, I... I know that, I perceive that God is no respecter of person. He is not partial. So let's stay focused. It's not because we are black that we cannot do certain things. It's because we are not focused. We are not focused. Stop blaming people. Something is happening. This week, anywhere they are planning evil against you, as you lift up your voice to speak, May the fire of God inside you consume them in the name of Jesus. Anywhere they gather to do evil against you, may the fire of God inside you consume them in the name of Jesus. But the Bible says, as many as received him, to give them he gave them the fire. Fire is power. If you don't know, as those in California. It's because you are in Maryland, you get cold, you see, uh, snow, that's why. If you have anybody in California, call them, ask them about fire. They will tell you, fire, we don't play. Praise the Lord. But as many as received him, to them he gave them what? Power. That power is fire. You may be here, you have not received Jesus. That is why the fire cannot burn every day. Pray for me, pray for me, pray for me. Then you have moved from one pastor to the other. You have begged and you have chopped your money, chop your, chop your money, and you, the devil is still chopping you. Because you lack fire. 
Amen. If you want to receive that fire this morning, wherever you are, come forward. It's free. It's free. Don't go back home fireless. Come. Stand in front here. Stand in front here. Stand in front here. Wherever you are, you want that fire. You receive Jesus. And he empowers you with that fire. Yes. Come, 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 come. It's free. coming to man you are coming to Jesus you are coming to receive the fire told me that there was something moving in my body and then I said no, 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 no. It can happen. Check it properly. Check it properly. By the time they checked it again, the fire has consumed it. Now you just heard somebody's testimony. He said no, I don't have it. That fire in you, when you ignite it, sickness goes away. They call it the consuming fire. That is his job. He consumes witchcraft. He consumes wizards. He consumes disease. He consumes. It's a consuming fire. And listen to me. Everyone has it. If you don't have it, then today I want you to come forward. Don't go home fireless. When fire is in you, anything that comes to your house, notice that mm -mm, this is a no-go place. There are some kind of knock when they knock at your door. Eh? You will know who is knocking. When somebody is knocking at your door, you can't even hear. But there are some when they knock, you, as if the door. Have you ever seen a policeman knock your door before? Eh? Boom, boom, boom. And your response will determine the person's reaction. Growing up, when we are going to look for young girls, when you enter the house and you meet the father, the response will determine welcome or no welcome. You, you see fire emitting from the father or you see lukewarmness from the fire. Father, praise the Lord. I told you one boy came to my house. I was wearing uh, I was wearing something like this, but it was brown all the way down. And I was wearing bathroom sandals. We call it chale wati. That means chale, let's go. <laughs> praise the Lord. Do you know something? The boy walked past me. I said, ah! The whole fire, I'm standing here like this. This boy walked past me. Not knowing my daughter has spotted that the boy didn't greet me. So when he got there, in the way me too, I was looking, I looked like a gay man. It was not his fault. The kind of dressing I was dressing there. Like a gay man. He said, you didn't see my father? He said, that was your fire. He was coming out to greet me. I said, today you are in trouble. I said, get out from here. Fire. May the fire in you today come alive. Amen. Lift up your hands, your right hand, your right hand. And say this after me. Lord Jesus, I have come today to receive you 
ignite your fire in me wash me with your blood I believe that you died and on the third day you rose from death to save me from my sins right now I believe I am forgiven I'm born again I'm a child of God to serve a living God thank you for saving me in Jesus name amen put your hands down I cover all of you with the blood of Jesus and I pray the fire of God be ignited in you in the name of Jesus from today you will never be lukewarm in the name of Jesus Christ thank you mighty God in Jesus name amen praise the Lord thank you so much for tuning in I believe you were blessed by the message and if it has impacted motivated or touched you in any way I would like for you to do a few things for me first make sure you are subscribed to our channel click the subscribe button and the bell icon below to make sure that you are notified when service starts each and every Thursday Sunday and other impactful services secondly invite your family friends co-workers neighbors everyone you know to fellowship with us right here online at Redeemers Chapel and send them a video or two to watch to be encouraged thirdly be sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Simply search for Redeemers Chapel. Through each of these platforms, we are able to connect and engage with you every day. So make sure you subscribe, follow, and like us on all. Lastly, I ask that you partner with us financially. Please pray and let the Lord lead you on what you can give to this ministry. It's it is through partnership like yours that we are able to continuously take this message of the good news to the world. Remember, Jesus is Lord. We'll see you next time.